I haven't eaten in a while. I'm fucking hungry as a little dog with a fat dick. Uh, as they say, as the old saying yeah, goes. Classic <laughs> Hungry as a little dog with a fat dick. <laughs> it's, actually, oh. it's starting to make more sense as time goes on. I'm seeing the wisdom. Yeah, you're like, he's small, but he, he's carrying around this big dick, and he fucks a lot. And he's just like, oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. And he's a street dog. He's a little scruffy. That is, that's his whole his whole life, man. Um, yeah, that's a new one. That's a new one. It's an original that was uh, coined here on Little Dinky News. Someone TM that. That's trademarked. We trademarked that. That's how you trademark something, right? Go. That's trademarked. I'm not even sure that's a thing that's trademarkable. A fucking like a catchphrase like or a piece of wisdom or something. Yeah, <laughs> a piece of wisdom. We got a car here. Do you want to drive around? I have a heavy. Oh. Car. And I yeah. like might be able to, for some reason, I feel like on, on foot, we're not pulling it off. But in a vehicle, I think that's how we, we could take down make it happen. We got another car over here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. This guy's mean. Okay. Yeah, we're going to, I'm going to loop around. I'm going to turn. Yeah, loop around, loop around, loop around. Yeah, he's coming back at us. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. How do you like hot lead, you punk bitch? Yeah, you son of a bitch. You want some of this? You want some? Okay, 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 okay. Get fucked. Yeah, he doesn't like it. I'll tell you that much. He's driving he away. Like it. Chase him. Yeah, we're chase. We're in. We're in chase now, guys. Ring, 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 ring. Get fucked. I get it. Ooh. Sure where that came from, my friend. Yeah, Not dude. Plenty. I am wasting a lot of ammunition, but. Oh, and someone's sniping at us, but he's his car is smoking, so we do have that advantage. Oh, fuck. That's oh, right, someone's! Right. Oh, someone has just oh, sniped oh. me. Oh, oh, and a car exploded. <laughs> <laughs> someone didn't want us to win that. He no. wants some of that little dog fat dick. He does want some of that little dog fat dick. Hey, fuck yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm fucking. I love jumping into this mode and just fucking firing rockets at people. Bedlam, and now you can do it yeah. knowing that they're free of sexual misconduct charges after they've been bought by a blizzard, right? They're in the clear now. Exactly. It's, it is now morally okay to play Activision games again, guys. We have, uh, we passed the hump. So, like, before when you had to feel bad, you when you had to feel sad in your little heart and be like, oh, no. Oop. Dude's Oop. here. Oh, three of them. Okay, I got no grenades or anything. Ah, oh, fuck. I downed one. That's it. Um, did y'all ever play Fable? Wish there was more games like that. No, Fable was sick, and Fable is coming back. We did get that uh, teaser of Fable. Like, no gameplay or anything yet, but Fable is coming. Um, when? Who the I, fuck um, knows? I like the original, like, the original game oversold so hard, though. Is that Peter Molyneux or whatever his name was? The guy would, like, lie through his goddamn fucking teeth to sell a game. And it worked on me when I was a kid. I, I thought that game was going to be so good, and it was okay. But... No, Peter Molyneux is, like, one of the biggest fucking frauds in video games. We need Def Jam back? Yeah, Def Jam, Fight for New York. We should stream that. We, we I think that's 100% we got to stream that game. That is such a good game. Yeah, that's doable. Actually, I did uh, so I did an interview for that gamer guide thing, and they asked me what my top five favorite games of all time were, and I put that on the list. Damn, that's in your top five of all top five. Time. It's a game, dude. That game, I what I kind of judge these things on is like how many times do I come back to the game? Um, because like if I play a game once, I never touch it again. There's something like even if it was great when I experienced it, there's some reason I'm not going back to it, right? Um. But if I go back to a game and uh, repeatedly and I enjoy it every time, I'm like, okay, we're on to something here. Uh, and that game I've gone back to like four or five times, uh, and which is unheard of for me. I usually play games once and I never touch them again. Yeah, and each... okay. okay, I got a terrible gun. Okay, I got a good gun, but I'm fucking... fucking oh, up. what the fuck? This guy like glitched out and fucking beat me to nice. death with some sticks. Get some sticks. Twisted Metal. I would like to see Twisted Metal come back as well. We've talked about the Twisted Metal Battle Royale that should happen, right? 
Yeah, absolutely. Oh, fuck you. Oh shit, you're dead. Oh yeah. Oh fuck. I yeah. I just I was like, I'll kill myself because right now I'm waiting to redeploy, and then if you die, then we're all gonna fucking be dead. You know. No, kind a of lack of faith for certain. <laughs> well, uh, doing work here. I'll just kill myself. <laughs> Def Jam, it uses the same, like, fucking framework as, like, WCW Revenge in those games, doesn't it? Yeah. It was, that's why it was so fucking good, because it was literally a, um, it was a wrestling game that they just put rappers' skins over, and you have, like, insanely weird fighting moves in that. You, like, grab a guy by his leg and his arm, and then you use him as a skipping rope, and, like, that's, like, your finisher. Your finishers were, like, obscene and like mean i remember ice t i think you fight ice t and what if he beats you he goes you're a punk your daddy's a punk and your mom is a bitch <laughs> you're like whoa <laughs> oh shit i'm getting it yo ice t bro why are you saying this to me right now okay there's a guy right there does he see me there's two guys here here to run the yams i'm still trying to figure that out i'm like that's my oh, oh fuck okay i downed one i'm fucking i'm playing sneaky guy sneaky okay killed one dude very nice yeah i killed a guy over here as well okay sick 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 okay i think we killed the squad did we see oh yeah i see him oh yeah one guy coming down the hill he's broke he's, he's broke again. oh shit Oh shit! Oh, the gas. Okay, we gotta go. Oh, okay, I'm down. Oh shit, I'm getting fucking tagged. Oh, oh fuck. Yo. I'm fucking dead. Fuck! What happened was uh, this guy who works for Foot Locker. He uh, put out this video. He's like, um,. He's like uh, walking around in the back naked. He's a manager there. And he's like, yeah, I'm just naked back here looking sexy. Yeah, fuck yeah. And he keeps showing his dick and shit. And apparently what this guy was doing was he was jerking off in the shoes and then giving them to customers to try on. So we like jerk off in a bunch of shoes. And then, <laughs> then during the day, you bring them out like, hey, try these shoes on. And they had six months posted a picture of a sole of a shoe with cum on it. And I was like, can you post? That's clearly cum. This dick wasn't in it, but I'm like, that is cum. You can just show cum? Um, this, this is in Toronto? This was in Toronto? I think so. I think so. And it was Man, so... F I buy shoes at a Foot Locker. I bought shoes at a Foot Locker within six months in Toronto. And so maybe you got this guy? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe you tried some cummy shoes, my dude. I don't know. He couldn't have been coming in that many shoes a day because, like, obviously, this guy's – well, he's probably coming in three pairs a day. And that's, like, it would just – not nothing. But it's – you're he's, – no. he's putting a lot of shoes on a lot of feet. There's some people who weren't getting cum. Uh, oh, sure. It was Brampton. The, uh, the ability to – okay, Brampton. So I'm in the clear. But we've talked about this before. If somebody came in my shoes and was like, I sold you shoes with cum, and I'd be like, whatever. I don't – that doesn't yeah. make sense. <laughs> I'm yeah, I go. Cool with it, man. Like that's fucked up for you to do, but I'm gonna go about my business now. No, yeah, that exactly. If someone, if I, if someone came on my foot fresh, like they were walking by and they just sh came on my bare foot, I would be like, oh, that sucks, and I would like rub my foot off, and then be like, did anyone have like a napkin? I'd find some grass or something and just rub exactly. my foot in the grass. You know the, grass. <laughs> you know the, yeah. the top, the top of your shoe, just run it through the grass a couple times. Yeah. yeah, get up. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, okay, <laughs> that's it, I guess. But yeah, this fucking shoe cum guy, the, so I guess he posted the video of him walking around and jerking off in the shoes naked in the back of the Foot Locker on some sort of social platform, maybe Facebook or something. And which medium do you think this one was on? <laughs> I think like that's a Facebook post that gets a, that's, that's Facebook, a Facebook, Facebook likes, likes that shit. Yeah. Put it on live leak. If you got material like that, put it there and it'll, it'll stay, you know, at least. Then oh, yeah. Carry the following of some variety. You're not going to get banned. Which he might have. I'm not sure where he posted this, but the reaction was someone was like this. So and so person has been like doing this in shoes. Uh, the, how like on top this is a, they said this is a health hazard. Uh, on top of everything going on during these trying times. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> now I have to deal with COVID and cum. I gotta say, uh, what a layup! What a layup of a fetish it is for that guy to kind of like to get a job at a shoe store and you're fucking busting nuts. That is like a smart really thing to do. Pretty good you way want, to do it. 
You want to hear oh, a good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, fuck this guy. <laughs> he didn't even touch the ground. Yeah. Holy right, shit. Yeah. <laughs> you want to do some helicopter stuff? Oh, yeah, buddy. Okay. Boom, I'm in. Six Buzz is so funny because they have absolutely no morals whatsoever. Like, they'll yeah. post anything and then they put or nah on the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're legal obligations. They're like, like, COVID, uh, Chinese hoax or nah. And you're like, man, I don't, I don't know if you should be doing this right now. <laughs> that is exactly what Six Buzz does, man. They don't, do not give a fuck. Oh, shit, I fell out. Fuck. I meant. <laughs> Hello, motherfucker. There's no way to fall out of this. <laughs> no. Okay, 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 okay. I thought I was like, if I press F, do I switch seats or do I fucking just jump out? And guess what, guys? You just jump out. I thought it was switch seats. Oh, C is switch seats. There we go. Now I'm on the gunner. Helicopter master. I've never even used one of these before, but I'm just high, drunk enough, and I have enough tacos in my gullet that I can figure this out. Right? You're fucking doing it. Because I wanted to get on this. This is what it's about. They have like a fucking serious. Whoa. This resort? This is Dictator Island. That's what this is. Look at this. Yeah. Is there a picture of Mao up there? Holy fuck, bro. Yeah. Should we just stay in this? Like, I don't see any reason to leave. To right get now. out of this. Oh, there's a guy right there. Where? Okay, uh, he was going into a house. I'll try to ping him next time. I got my hand on the ping. But, uh, the, yeah. Oh, oh. oh no, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. There's like the somewhere. Guy, yeah, there's a dude dropping over here, which means he's extra weak. He's in this, like, cabana below us. Okay. Okay, let me see. Let me Straight see. Below. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see him. Oh, it's overheated. Fucking. Is it our bolts? Uh, it keeps fucking. Okay, this guy is oh. proven. He is top of yeah. the hill. Oh, he got me. Oh, God. Okay, I'm dead. Okay. Plan B. Plan B. <laughs> <laughs> Plan B. Plan B. Plan B.